serious relationship for nearly 20 years with actress Jennifer Westfeldt, neither had intentions of marrying one another prior to their 2015 split, with John. Telling Parade in 2010, I don't have the marriage chip, and neither of us have the greatest examples of marriage in our families. But Jen is the love of my life, and we've already been together four times longer than my parents were married. Dash dash. Former Madman star John Hamm doesn't see himself as the marrying kind. Although the gorgeous and talented Emmy winner was in a serious relationship for nearly 20 years with actress Jennifer Westfeldt, neither had intentions of marrying one another prior to their 2015 split, with John telling Parade in 2010, I don't have the marriage chip, and neither of us have the greatest examples of marriage in our families. But Jen is the love of my life, and we've already been together four times longer than my parents were married. Decades, she has no plans to marry him. Her decision to remain legally single and not have children was a personal one driven by her realization that she could not give a family what they needed and be one of the most powerful women in Hollywood. In 2019, Oprah sat down with People magazine and explained her choice, saying, I realized, whoa, I am talking to a lot of messed up people and they are messed up because they had mothers and fathers who were not aware of how serious that job is. I used to think about this all the time, that I was working these 17-hour days, and so were my producers, and then I go home and I have my two dogs and I have Stedman, who's letting me be who I need to be in the world. He's never demanding anything from me like, where's my breakfast? Where's my dinner? Never any of that, which I believed would have changed had we married. Dash dash. Although media mogul Oprah Winfrey has been in a rock-solid relationship with businessman Stedman Graham for more than three decades, she has no plans to marry him. Her decision to remain legally single and not have children was a personal one driven by her realization that she could not give a family what they needed and be one of the most powerful women in Hollywood. In 2019, Oprah sat down with People magazine and explained her choice, saying, I realize, whoa, I am talking to a lot of messed up people and they are messed up because they had mothers and fathers who were not aware of how serious that job is. I used to think about this all the time, that I was working these 17-hour days, and so were my producers, and then I go home and I have my two dogs and I have Stedman, who's letting me be who I need to be in the world. He's never demanding anything from me like, where's my breakfast? Where's my dinner? Never any of that, which I believed would have changed had we married. Myself a man. The Oscar-winning star of films like Annie Hall later explained her decision to remain unmarried, saying, I think I was not practical. I had some insane idea that I had to be in love. Now I see what it really takes, real consideration that you're a good team together. Dash dash. Of never marrying, actress and mom of two Diane Keaton joked in a 2014 interview with People magazine, I really wish I had bought myself a man. The Oscar-winning star of films like Annie Hall later explained her decision to remain unmarried, saying, I think I was not practical. I had some insane idea that I had to be in love. Now I see what it really takes, real consideration that you're a good team together. The Environmental Responsibility of Enterprises Ad Hitachi Slideshow continues on the next slide. The Environmental Responsibility of Enterprises Ad Hitachi Women, including actress Beverly D'Angelo and acting teacher Jan Tarrant, both of whom gave birth to his children, but marriage was never on his radar. One of his famous exes, actress Diane Keaton, shared that she wishes she would have married Al but knows it wouldn't have worked out, telling People magazine, I don't think he was really that interested. And I don't think a long-term happy marriage would be easy for him. Dash dash. Acting legend Al Pacino spent much of his Hollywood career moonlighting as a notorious ladies' man, dating many high-profile women, including actress. Beverly D'Angelo and acting teacher Jan Tarrant, both of whom gave birth to his children, but marriage was never on his radar. One of his famous exes, actress Diane Keaton, shared that she wishes she would have married Al but knows it wouldn't have worked out, telling People magazine, I don't think he was really that interested, and I don't think a long-term happy marriage would be easy for him. Talented, she's made the choice to remain single. 
During a 2019 interview with Glamour, she opened up about her single status, saying, I never wanted to get married. Those are things that are not hard for me, because they're innately my truth. Dash dash. It's refreshing to know that while Charlize Theron could easily have any partner she wants, hello, she's gorgeous and incredibly talented. She's made the choice to remain single. During a 2019 interview with Glamour, she opened up about her single status, saying, I never wanted to get married. Those are things that are not hard for me because they're innately my truth. Relationship with fellow actor and Parenthood co-star Peter Krause for nearly a decade, the two have no plans to get hitched. Dash dash. One of our favorite TV moms, Lauren Graham, who played Lorelai Gilmore on Gilmore Girls, is a single lady. Though she's been in a relationship with fellow actor and Parenthood co-star Peter Krause for nearly a decade, the two have no plans to get hitched. Philip Jonkas saying they'd been together about a year at the time. However, when asked if there were any wedding rings in their future, Allison was quick to say no, adding, I don't believe in that as an institution. Dash dash. During a 2016 interview with E! News, Oscar-winning actress Allison Janney gushed about her very hot and much younger than boyfriend, Philip Jonkas, saying, they'd been together about a year at the time. However, when asked if there were any wedding rings in their future, Allison was quick to say no, adding, I don't believe in that as an institution. Ivy tried to have relationships, I've been in love, but I never understood how you can be with the same person just day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year, I just don't get that, Bill told pal Howard Stern in a 2019 interview. Dash dash. TV personality Bill Maher, who hosted Politically Incorrect in real time with Bill Maher, has never been a married man. I've tried to have relationships. I've been in love, but I never understood how you can be with the same person just day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year, I just don't get that, Bill told pal Howard Stern in a 2019 interview. Groundbreaking knee brace gives pain-free mobility. Add great knee brace. Slideshow continues on the next slide.